Mayors in Westmoreland County are expressing their concern over fundraisers in the community. The one catching their attention, drag queen bingos at volunteer fire departments. And as Chris Hoffman reports, this concern is not stopping drag groups from continuing their work. A group of seven Christian churches in the Mount Pleasant Township area called Christians Uniting issued this letter to about 14 volunteer fire departments in their congregation area on March 20th. It calls into question the use of drag queen bingos as fundraisers. These pictures depicted individuals in a very unpleasant way, not in a way in which God created us um, to live. The letter says the event encourages the touching, fondling, and groping of patrons dressed in drag, which they feel could lead to lawsuits in the Me Too era. With some reflection, there could be the instance where someone comes back and views something happening very differently, and then uh, that might trigger a lawsuit against a fire company. I promise you on everything, we do not do the groping, we do not do the touching. According to Jeffrey Kaczynski with the Sparkling Queens of Drag, groups who do touch and grope are not a fair representation of drag queens and makes Kaczynski's job harder. It's a shame and it's really a disgrace to not only to the fire departments, but to the gay community. He says his group has raised almost $200,000 in their fundraisers over the past year. According to the Calumet Volunteer Fire Department, the Sparkling Queens of Drag's bingo event raised them almost $10,000 in one night. They're already booking them again for an event in July. We're not letting nobody stop us. We are going to continue doing what we love to do. The churches understand the fire departments need to raise money. They would prefer the fundraiser, quote, treat each person with dignity and respect. Society has, over the years, viewed people as a commodity, as objects. In Mount Pleasant Township, Westmoreland County, Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.